Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, gonna be testing out a deck that I saw from the Red Bull uh, tournament. This is a four color Winota deck. Um, so the namesake card of the deck is kind of the engine of the deck. Uh, Winota, Joiner of Forces, uh, four mana human. Whenever you attack with a non-human, look at the top six cards of your library, and you get to put a human into the battlefield tapped and attacking, gains indestructible end of turn basically what you're trying to do is get some creatures out play a winota attack with those creatures sneak in agent of treacheries steal your opponent's things or stuff like kenrith as well um, so there's a few hits we can have there you can also get like charming prince to ba uh, blink your agent of treachery and then um, reset it there uh, so it's kind of like a combo -y aggro deck uh, this version here uh, is four color so it has a Boreal Grazer and Gilded Goose to ramp you. Uh, they ne neither of them are defenders, so they can both attack and they both trigger Winota as well. This one also has Neoform to find Winota. Uh, when I was testing out the Jeskai versions, I found the games you can get Winota on like turn four or five. You usually won those games, but if you're just playing like a collection of meh creatures, uh, then it's a little bit... Uh, disjointed without Winota. So this lets us sack any of our three drops to go find a Winota. Um, so you have Charming Prince. Uh, Hanged Executioner creates two creatures that both trigger Winota. Uh, Illyrios both uh, yeah, creates two creatures that also trigger Winota. It's also a hit off Winota. And then Legion Warboss can just make a bunch of creatures. Uh, you also have Kenrith with the ability to activate basically every mode except the reanimation mode. And then the Agent of Treacheries. Uh, sideboard wise, um, we have. Oh, what'd you do, pups? Dog knocked over my papers. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern versus like, uh, any graveyard decks, Zenith Flare decks, stuff like that. Aether Gust when needed. Uh, most of the lists play Fire Prophecy, but I like the Exile and Flexibility to also hit Planeswalkers with Scorching Dragonfire. A uh, bunch of counters uh, for the more like the Luka matchup, stuff like that. And then Irreverent uh, Revelers, uh, we'll call it Seder Boys. Uh, it is uh, a way to get um, Graph Digger's Cage off the board. So Graph Digger's Cage does shut off the ability of Winota to sneak things in. Uh, so this is a way to get rid of that. So we'll play it up, we'll play the ladder. Uh, pretty much tanked my rating yesterday. It was on a very poor streak. Let's re much better red and white spells we are going to be playing red and white spells very much looking forward to historic so i could jam the winota is very very powerful and historic along with just gruel i'm tired of playing like these lengthy lengthy mid-range matchups um scarab god what are the chances they're playing demir they're playing karuga which is either going to be flash or um it's either going to be flash or Fires. So I think I'm going to lead on the Gilded Goose. If I get an untapped land, it lets me turn to Legion Warboss. The one downside with this four color version is it's very pricey on the, uh, the mana. Perfect. So one thing we do need to be mindful of is they will be playing Clarion. So we don't want to overextend. Why are you hiding under there, dog? My dog is right under the desk. This is probably Bone Crusher Giant. Brazen Borrower. Sure. So a little awkward there. We don't get the effect and I can't replay it. Pups. So I'm just going to make a food token here, them missing the game. So this is the flash matchup. So they won't have Clarion. So I'm probably more comfortable just jamming these war bosses in on them. They have another bounce effect. So this does give them an opportunity. Us missing lands is kind of annoying. And it's better they're doing this than like Bone Crusher. Okay, so if they're Sharknadoing just to hit a land drop, it bodes well for us. Um, 
here, I'm just going to play out the Grazer. It gives me a blocker, but if we draw Winota, it's another trigger. So we're really just trying to find a Winota at this point. So we have Winota or Neoform, both allow us to hit. We have the Wreck. We might just like overrun them. Okay. They literally drew four brazen borrowers. So I'm just going to play Charming Prince here. And I think I set up the scry. Still has good pressure in this match. Second wreck. They can explosion us for four. We are hitting them for a decent chunk here, but they might just be able to like combo us. That's very annoying. Like, yeah, so this looks like explosion. And then they're likely gonna draw into another explosion and we die. Okay, they just go night pack. That's fine. So we're punished here for not having the mana. I could have Neo formed. if I blinked it instead, but then we wouldn't have hit it. So I'm just gonna send everything in. They're gonna block here. I just wanna get as much chip damage as possible in on them. Next turn I Neo form. If we hit a land, then I can play out a creature and Neo form the creature. So they have four, 11. So they just go Karuga. I think we maximize the amount that we can attack in with Winota out. My concern though is we do get hit by Dispute. Six. I'm dead to an explosion anyways because it's four so then one it's eleven so maybe just play it safe here kind of just want them to explosion us Go to another night pack. Ah, so we need to draw untapped land. Now nah, we're dead. This just makes one. That's super frustrating. They had four brazen borrowers. Spute, Aether Gust. Um, I don't know if we want Veto. Agents are good, so let's get rid of... I don't like Neoform, I don't think, in this matchup. Go down to Executioners. Maybe we keep a couple Neo forms in. Go down a goose on the play. 
because they can mystical dispute but they probably take dispute out against us and they're going to be playing like aether gust because the thing is you sack as an additional cost um if that's the case i still have a, a bunch of targets i think we're fine let's just run it like this see if they don't draw four brazen borrowers in their top like six cards it's great i like this version too because you can just ramp into your threats Trinome, next turn I can go Hanged Executioner. Um, let's scry here. So I don't want either. This also makes it so if I get an untapped land, I get uh, Kenrith. Shock here. That takes us off when Noda. If we were to have drawn it. So we're live to a lot of things here. Like obviously untapped line lets us go Kenrith. Uh, I'm going to do that post-combat, just in case they want to bounce one of these. This also plays around Dispute. Love paying 5 mana for something to immediately get bounced. Just attack like this. I'm gonna blink the hanged executioner and just make more flyers. Actually, I might just scry. It plays a little bit better because um, otherwise, I get hit by. Uh, if they have removal. So let's smooth out our draws. I actually don't think I mind Gust here. Like we're probably just on the beatdown plan. So I can just bounce this. I can also just exile it. Do this. Pass the turn, see what they do here. Mm. Do I want to exile is the question. I think we gotta play as though we're drawing Winota. 
This is going to be a tough matchup. If it was normal team erect, we'd probably be doing a lot better. Just they usually don't have as many answers. Well, I'm going for it. No counter. No counter. Ah. Stupid matchup. So this is what you see with the deck where you're not drawing Winona. You're going to run into basically an anemic deck. That game one we probably should have taken if they hadn't pulled four brazen borers but we're not really packing interaction we're a very linear deck so with linear decks if you interact with them they typically don't do too well and that's gonna be a note for me okay we'll keep uh kenrith can go away So the plan is Goose into Hanged Executioner, into Neoform, attack with the two of them. An Italian player, Marco Benoit. Scorch Spitter. You know what? I screwed up lines. I should have played the blue source because now I gotta take an extra point of damage. Okay, robber's fine. So we're gonna take this hit this turn because I'm gonna neo form next turn. They don't attack. So doing this now when we have the cover. We just want the triggers. Crashing a bit more than usual. So we missed on the first spin. We hit on Agent. We have another Hanged Executioner. Fortunately, Robert is a human. So let's attack first, see what we hit. Steal their annex here. Get a Kenrith. This game's uh, basically over. So this is the good of the deck. Opponent's playing more of a traditional mono red deck. Um, yeah, they're dead, but I was just going to gain life. We went off the board state. So in this matchup, Scorching Dragon Fires in, Aether Gusts in. Um, I'm going to bring in the Revelers just because it's there's a likelihood that they bring in something to interact with us um probably shave the war boss or the hang executioner so probably shave one neoform one hanged executioner two goose mind you goose blocks okay against their one ones Um, so that's still a good chunk of three threes. I think we're okay like this. At least in game, like match two, they're gonna be on the play. Uh, 
I don't know if you can hear out of my window. We've got some rogue Canadian geese. Um, I'm not a fan of this hand. Okay, this hand's much better. I'm gonna put Kenrith back. Yikes. So, like I said, some of the decks play Fire Prophecy to shuffle back in certain cards. So the question here, and I think it's dependent on whether or not we draw land, I might Aether Gust this turn. Oh, not giving me a choice, we are Aether Gusting this turn. Um, this, this matchup where Mana Base hurts is pretty rough. We probably take the the hit here. Yeah, that's a good Aether Gust target. Hanged Executioner really isn't that good against the Fervent Knight. Uh, we needed a land. Untapped land, one time. One time untapped land. We also need to be mindful, this isn't the Abosh version, so they likely have Embercleave. No blocks. Okay, Aether Gust. So I'm going to do this after their draw step. Here to block, so hand would have been okay with the goose if it had it lived. Forty two percent chance hitting a land. I think all but five of those lands work out how we want them okay i need to land this turn that was our land hmm. so they play the annex i think we need to scry here So I'm going to give him the war boss. I'm going to block here. They play an annex. Actually, I'm going to block on robber. So I block on robber. got played our outs this game it's gonna be um, a close one we missed land too many turns we need like double agent dead I'm forced to block one of their four power oh, I have another Winota though okay so I block their four power here well we got to see if they play this okay they play with Scorch Spitter So I block here. They can just anthem their team though. Oh, they missed that. OK, 
Okay, so I Winota. Attack like this. Take agent, I take Scorch Spitter. I have to take this because of the combat damage. Still dead though. They have one extra attacker. I could have targeted Steamkin, but then they just popped the mana, because then I could have um, done that, but I needed a creature that was untapped. I um, think we run it back. Probably want maybe some Aliros instead of the Hanged Executioner. It blocks better, and it's a hit for um, Agent. Or uh, uh, Winota. The two toughness is more relevant. We we need to be able to block their one power creatures. And then play draw. For us missing the land drop, we are a little... We are actually pretty close. If we had hit something off one of the misses, we would have been okay. Let's see if we can get a, a grazer drop. Perfect. This hands gas. I can answer their first few threats. We do need a white source for Winota. But this lets me reduce the amount of incidental damage. So I'll probably Aether Gust whatever they play on two. Uh, more of a tempo play. I want to exile like the annex if they have one. Just to be mana efficient, because if I draw Winota, I want to be able to attack. No. We are missing the second blue. Did they bottom it? That when it attacks is three toughness, so it can get through Grazer. Okay, perfect. Winoda. Winoda. Give me a Winoda. How about another Arboreal Grazer? The Derp Squad is here. Neoform's not that great right now. Kenrith would be actually pretty solid. Not even the good lands. So I need a blue source. Here they can just basically smash in, but for what started off as a decent draw. I'm just gonna take this damage. It's actually good in retrospect, cutting the Hanged Executioners. Hey, AK. Just hanging out, playing some magic, trying out a Winota list. How's it going with you? We need some action. And they drew Annex. Neoform doesn't really do anything. Main Neo form. Just a scry here. We need to find Winota. Oh, I actually should have kept the blue source. So they can't block here, but I can block the annex. Uh, Diamond 4, I, my record got tanked. 
I went on a bad win streak. Yeah. You're not gonna do much when you draw nothing but lands. Yeah, I'm not feeling this standard this much. Like, I want to try Winota. Like, I'm in the floor. This is a four-color variant. It's pretty linear. Like, when it goes off, it's sweet. But when it doesn't, it's just, like, clumsy. Probably try... Do one more of this, and then I'll try something else. See how it goes. This, none of the decks... Like, Jeskai Luka... It's powerful, but it's very dull to play. And the mirrors take like 45 minutes. What are you playing right now? Hey. Probably should have kept that other hand. Yeah, that Azorius list looks uh, painful, to say the least. Yeah, I think I'm going to play that one next. Are you playing the Luris Mardu version? Okay, well... I fucked that up. It's meant to play this land. Because now I don't have an untapped source for Winota. I could have attacked in with one. I'm playing so sloppy today. Okay, it's elementals. Never punished. Give me an agent. Yeah, buddy. This is an elemental, so it triggers Winota. Okay. That felt better. I'm uh, going to bring in the Disputes and probably the Dragon Fires. Um, coming out. I think on the play I'm going to get rid of the geese, get rid of three more cuts. I'd probably bring in some more interaction, but I think we need to keep the neo forms. Cutting them just seems wrong. Let's trim an executioner and let's trim, yeah, let's just trim the executioners. So they're going to gum up the ground more than they are the air. So let's maybe shave like that. This makes more blockers, but they're going to be able to block the one ones pretty easy. Let's do it like that. Like. The variance in this deck is just something humorous. Um, we need to draw into a blue source. If we draw into a blue source, this hand is gas. If we don't, it's pretty bad. I think we try it. Because blue source lets us go Aliros and then Neo form it and then attack in with two things. Okay, now we're just on draw any land, any untapped land. 22 lands in the deck still. Hit me with an untapped one. It's super windy outside. My blinds keep. Yeah, what's happening, opponent? Arena's been super glitchy since I put in that big update to fix the block cards. Already got uh, 
the system crashed once on me. I know a lot of people during the uh, invitational yesterday getting the companion bug when you try to sideboard or the client crashing. Perfect. So just tap out next turn, please. Please and thank you. Play Risen Reef. Oh, an Uro. Okay. Don't hold up Mystical Dispute. Perfect. So we got two triggers off Winota. Oh, you just draw Winota. So sack this, get Winota, GG's, turn 4 kill, 2 games in a row, like when the deck's rolling it rolls, okay, because Arena is being particular, let's call it that, let's give it a restart, fire it up again. Can probably run one more with this. The nice thing is, you know the games are over relatively quick. I like this version because you get to optimize the amount of like one drops that can attack in as well. And then just getting out an earlier Winota. I was looking back at some of the uh, stats for like uh, Jeskai Luka when I was testing. There was one night, it took me wait, no, 2 hours and 20 minutes to play 3 matches. And like, they all went 3 games. Um, I'll probably keep this hand. Yeah, that's why. Like, last month I hit uh, Mythic within five days with Gruul. Oh. Opponent. So the mana base is very painful. Okay. We are seeing, is this just like Gruul fire? All right, it's Gruuly boys. So Neoform next turn, then steal their board. Let's just block here. Yeah, I think we just prioritize this. Because I want to steal this war boss if I can. And then I think we take a land. And then I steal their land. Turn three win. Oh, no, no revelers. Just that in the gusts. Yeah, this is like the epitome of when it works, it works. When it doesn't, go cry in a corner. Um, I'm gonna cut a war boss on. I think maybe two war bosses. The flying's a little bit better to recur. This being three power token is a little better. And I. I think on the play I get rid of two geese, run it back, this deck is probably the highest disparity of good and bad, and then one uh, historic ladders on the 21st, which is like mid next week, so then we'll play this in historic, this deck's really really good in historic, comes out Thursday the historic ladder.
So you got to remember though, post board, when you neo form, sacrifice is an additional cost. So if they counter, so in this matchup, we don't really need to worry about the counter. But um, in like uh, a blue base matchup, you do want to play around that. Opponent probably thought their deck, their draw was pretty good. We just out aggroed him. Did they disconnect? They're close to mythic as well. I really wish there was a chat function because like I've been trying to find a good gruel list, and if they're close to mythic with gruel. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. Like having an agent in hand feels bad, but having the Winota, that's just so much better when you do have it. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm gonna lead on that. If I need to, I can dragon fire next turn, but I'm probably just gonna set up my draw. Okay, first this, I think I wanna dragon fire. Hi. Drawing both agents feels bad. So what I can do is, I don't want to play out Winota until I can get an attack. They probably bring in stuff like Lava Coil. And I'm going to do this before combat so they don't get the trigger. Let's see what they do. I just want to be mana efficient. Mm. Honestly here, I'm probably just going to gain the life. Block there. Save some life. Shock in here. And then that way I can attack with the goose. These aggro matchups are really going to feel like who's ever um, on the play. It's going to have a, a big advantage. It's probably questing beasts. We also probably lost this matchup just because two agents are in hand. The number of hits we have is reduced. Galia, Zerta. So I'm gonna take Galia off the battlefield. Just lets them cycle through their deck. This being a 4 4 is actually pretty good. We're probably dead. Fairly high likelihood they have something like Ember Cleave at this point. Don't make fun of opponent. I was playing Gruel yesterday because I couldn't find a deck I wanted to play. I was remembering a simpler time. Okay, so we need to hit. They kept in shock. Okay. We had one more spin, but not the best there. Um, so they have shocks on the play. Probably run it back.
Can't really do much different there. Not drawing agents would be good. We also run into a lot of aggro right now on the ladder. I guess people are tired of uh, Luca. Because if we hit a blocker there, it doesn't even matter really. We need it to hit specifically Agent. Or Aliros, because Aliros would have left the token behind. Okay. We just need to find a three drop. Um I think we do this. If we miss a land drop, I'm gonna neoform this. Yeah, I'm gonna neoform this now. Not want one more one drops mind you I could have kept the goose but I think I just want to naturally hit lines I don't have anything to trigger Winota right now so I might neoform this again can go into like Legion War Boss. They did show shock. I can attack in, but if they do take the block, it's a little worse. Um. I think we go with the flyers. The reason being the token from war boss would get hit and then if they have a removal spell then it's worse against um, like this. This I get two creatures so now I just need to hit a land drop. Okay, um, not the land drop I wanted. I'm just gonna scry here. They could have something like Bone Crusher. We weren't drawing lands for a while. So they bone crusher there. We've had some weird disparity with lands. Flame sweep. Yikes. Might have to run out a naked Winota. Because now the concern is even just something like Embercleave. We're taking five here. I'm kind of priced into blocking. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Bested by the mana base. Compared to like mono red, this one's going to be putting a lot more pressure against us. Like the hand was reasonable.
They have enough for cleave anyways. So I want to see where they put the cleave on. So we're only taking two this turn. Playing out Winota on its own isn't that good. I need something else. Yeah. Because I can't really block. I'm taking six this turn. I'm dead. Because the problem is, so if I block, they kill it. They still have their thing. We juked them in the first game. I think we need more interaction for these creature matchups. Having nothing. I think we just disregard. If they have the thing, they have it. I think we want three dragon fires. Because this is flexible anyways. And honestly, like I've been seeing a lot more bigger decks. Mind you, we can block. I think we play a play set of these. Let's run it through one more set. This has been the epitome of my magic the last three, four days. Win one, lose one. Come close and then get mana screwed or mana flooded. Hand is gas. We have uh, we have the turn three Winota, and the nice thing is we get to shuffle um, shuffle the agent back in. It's at the bottom of our library right now. They're on Umari, so it's likely some sort of mutate pile. So not much interaction out of the opponent. Next turn, Neo form this, attack in with two, hopefully get some triggers. Mono green Amori. You know what's really bad against um, Agent of Treachery? Putting all your mutates onto one creature. You. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take your land. We also have Charming Prince to bounce this agent of treachery, and then I could use another Charming Prince to bounce another agent. All right, so against the mono green deck, we'll bring in those, and I think just the dragon fires to hit early things. Um, flying's probably a premium in this matchup, so drop the Alluros. Still think we want. I think it's just that. Do it like that. Nah, because we cut the Lyros. So I think I want to up the amount. Hey, Emiliano. Um, if you're on uh, the PC, there's a little widget right here that you can see the deck. If not, I'll link it in the chat. Um, I think this hand's reasonable. Historic comes back on the 21st, so Thursday. Didn't want to draw agent there. 
Um, let's do this. It's definitely a target. Okay, so they were gruel. They were off. Uh... So this one's a little bit more all in. Um, we've kind of had mixed results. It looked really, really like that last game where it just looks ridiculous. And then we've had other games where it's looked pretty bad, to be honest. Um... Our mana base. Also, this four color version, the mana base is really painful. Never shock. Yep. So, next turn, I'm going to play the Trinome and then cycle the other Trinome, and then we can play Kenrith the following turn. Isn't even that good right now. Yeah, probably dead. And like I didn't add the lava coils, but increasingly I think it's something we need to add in. to take a shock here I'm gonna play Kenrith I'm gonna block Amari yeah it's like the two matchups where lava coil is reasonable but you're seeing a lot more of it and I think four toughness is becoming more relevant yeah. if we don't get like an early play they're gonna Oh, grandeur us. Um, do we just go like super linear? I think we just go super linear. On the play. If they're gonna have removal, then we need to go quick. The Scorching Dragon Fires. Like, it was good against the Raptor, but everything in their deck looks to be for toughness. All right. Turn three, Winota. Uh, I'm going to lead on the Stomping Grounds. A play on three would be great. Any of our three drops. They match us in effectiveness. Aether Gust is actually great. Whatever they play this turn is getting sent back, and then I can Winota, and then hopefully steal their lands. Um. So, I have the choice. I can let them get a land. But I actually think just doing this right now and sending them back, especially because if I can steal their land, it's better. Agent. Fuck. Ah. We have a good number of hits. We needed a hit there. I needed something, because then I could have blinked it with Charming Prince. So I think here what I do... I'm going to scry... I'm gonna attack in here. Perfect. 
think we steal Mari. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another Charming Prince. And then I'm going to blink the agent. And then I'm going to steal their red source. So that takes them off a lot of their burn base damage. All right, when the deck works, it's gasoline. When it doesn't, then it looks like a pile. All right, what do we go with this deck? Blind sec. Feel like we played confidently at 500. Might have been up a game. Four and four. There were some close matches, though. There weren't any games that I felt like we were completely out, but... We played three gruel matchups. How did we play three gruel matchups? There's like the three people on the ladder with gruel. What's colorless? Uh, all right, not the worst. This this deck is definitely fun. Um, you know what? Let's do one more. Do one more. It takes me to about two p.m. Eastern here. Sweet. I needed one more of those. Uh, I'm just gonna reset the client. It's been super buggy. We already started to see our lands slowly come into play there. So I'll drop off around or after this match, go eat some food, walk the dog, and then I'll come back. Um, AK Mage, uh, do you have your Mardu Knights list? I've been looking for one. I'm going to play that uh, some variant of it next. Someone also sent me a Doom Foretold Esper Yorion list, which looks sweet, but after playing that much Luka, mentally I'm just not in. Hey, Crimson and Sikis, thanks for the follows. Play first. No good. Much better. We don't have a red source. Against the Bosch, though. Still pretty solid. I am so good at magic sometimes. So we gotta attack with this. They probably don't block, which is great for us, because now I can Neo form this. Okay, I'll test that one out. Let me. No! Damn it. Now we drew agent. So now we're in a bad spot. So I'm gonna probably just. If I take the trade, probably. This is dealing a bunch of incidental damage. Because the thing is, even if I draw a 3-drop, I can't Neoform the same turn. This also gives him a pump. Jeez. And the banner. So I'm going to take this hit. Because then next turn, they're going to be able to Bosch. So it'll be worse. So we just take the 5 this turn. Man, 
And if they didn't have that stomp, we would have just absolutely run away with this one. Nope, just dry agents. Ha! <sighs> da 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 da. This is very clean matchup. Uh, I'm gonna take out the geese, I think. Actually, I don't mind some number. Um, I think we get rid of the executioners. Run it like that. This is just like, that was a great example of how f both explosive and fragile the deck can be. We were basically there. But instead, we weren't. So I'm going to do this. Actually, I probably shouldn't have kept this hand. Why did I keep this hand? This is nothing. You know what? I'm just going to fire up another one. That was a stupid keep. I was just autopiloting, and I saw turn one play. It didn't even clue into me that we had the, uh, the agents in the hand. Like, I don't know what we were trying to ramp into there. We had two lands... Nothing else. Brain fart. Yes, please. Don't need the Neo form. We have our gas in hand. So I'm going to do this next turn. I can double goose. And then that'll give me my white mana. So this is Ketria Trinome. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to take the damage. It's very likely they have a stomp or something. Just juked me with the light up the stage. Fantastic, because now I can use all my geese attack. So I'll probably throw a block this turn, just because I still have two attackers. decision you think you'd want to get the O3 let's just gain a bunch of life so no agent but next turn I just start gaining a bunch of life this is also a reflection Oh, uh, you know what? I don't have my sound on, so I forgot the honk. Agro Goose ga Grazer. So, same board plan as last time. Get rid of the Hanged Executioners. Um, trim two geese. You know what? I think I want the Hanged Executioners. Split him up. And I think we go down one Neo form on the play. Again, the reason being, it's very easy for them to hit something with two power. Um, so the War Boss isn't as good. Also not as good on the play. Um... Opponent goes first, we're on the draw, we're missing red mana. Hands pretty I think this is a moth. Okay. 
keep this put back. Honestly, probably Neoform. So no one drops good. We don't have interaction. Scorching Dragonfire would have been great that turn. Looks like they were just missing lines. So we just need to hope they don't have damage. Hardcast Bone Crusher. Sir, you made a mistake. Um, not the best. We can make another reflection token here. I can go goose next turn if they kill Winota. I wonder if we just trade the Winota. For like the Steamkin, and then play out another Winota. Like I don't think we're. Okay, so they have Annex. So if they have Cleave, they hit us for fourteen. So we're not dead. Oh, they can't cleave us anyways. Yeah, I think I do this. Oh yeah, well they can pump it there. It equips. Still trade. Hit an agent here. I think we need a defensive one. Um, we can take the trample. Yeah. All right. That was sweet. This deck's awesome. Not consistent, but it does. It does a great job of doing the thing, and the thing is awesome to do. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Be back a bit later. We will play... Let me copy that link now for the deck. We'll play some Mardu Knights later. I, uh, I got smacked by this a couple times on the ladder recently, so interested in trying it out. Hey, Sausage Student. Yeah, drop me a follow. And then uh, just drop me a message with your channel. Check it out. Or um, there's a bunch of us on like Twitter and stuff. We do a, uh, everything on Aetherhub. So if uh, any collab stuff there afterwards. Anyways, thanks for uh, stopping in. If you do want to watch, um, I played in the uh, Mythic Qualifier Invitational yesterday. Not the best results, but um, did have some interesting games. That's up on YouTube now. Yeah, um, just reach out, like, even on Aetherhub, just drop, uh, like, what your channel is and stuff so I can uh, get into contact. We'll see from there. Alrighty, have a great rest of the day. Uh, I'll be back a bit later for some more action. Thanks for stopping by.